Welcome back, Guardians. I've been meaning to do a review of Season of the Wish, and every time I thought about this season, I kept thinking about the narrative roundtable that Bungie did with Games Media when Lightfall came out. And there was obviously a very strong reaction to Lightfall, specifically around the Veil. And so the narrative team and people at Bungie that did interviews with Games Media and talked about the seasons after Lightfall and how it's going to fill in all the blanks and get you all prepared for Final Shape. And I kept coming back to this article and thinking, uh, if I'm going to review this season, I really should judge Bungie by their own expectations. And I don't, oh, man, I don't like doing all these videos about the critique. And this one's probably the, my most critical video. So if it's not your kind of thing, that's fine. I actually do have some other normal lore videos, some classic Marlin videos. Just go off and watch my, my video on Warlord's Ruin. It's a big deep dive into the lore of Warlord's Ruin. Or oh, oh, Lord Shacks, big history of Lord Shacks. But today I wanted to read to you what they said in July 2023 uh, about the criticism of Lights for Story and what was planned for the seasons. And now we've obviously finished all the seasons and we're heading into Final Shape and to see if they achieve some of those things. Uh, spoilers, I don't think so. And then I'm going to tie this into, I guess, my review of this season. I will leave a link to these articles down below if you want to read them yourself, but I am going to read you a couple of uh, parts of the article, what was said during these, uh, these interviews. I'll let you decide, you start formulating your ideas about what Bungie said and if they achieved these things throughout this year, and then I'll give you my thoughts in a sec too. So I'll, let me just read you some. Bungie leads address criticisms of Lifehall's story and explain that the expansion was a partly a narrative experiment meant to set up more engaging seasons for the current year. It used to be where we could kind of nod to what was going to happen in the next season and then you jump into it and it would be a whole sort of new story with a chain link between the previous one and this one. Okay, this is a little bit, this quote's a bit confusing, but what they're talking about is that the expansions used to be like a conclusion and then they'll jump into a whole new story in the new seasons lead up to a new expansion but this was a narrative experiment and essentially lightfall was the beginning of this story these are some of the most serialized and interconnected seasons we've ever done just narratively i think there's more swing toward the fences in that regard the interconnection between annual releases and seasons is kind of a chain link and this year's is different in that normally we ramp up to an expansion and then we start the new stuff with the seasons that come after it with this one, Defiance and Deep are kind of like the fallout from Lightfall. All right, so saying that Lightfall is the beginning and then you have the aftermath and Defiance and Deep and then it starts ramping up again into Final Shape. There's a lot of narrative threads that were left very intentionally unresolved to dig into and expand upon and feel the impact of Brooks continues. And then from 22 and 23 onwards, it's the ramp up that lead into the dive into the final shape. It's very different shape than what we're used to, so some of the narrative arcs might be done in a different way, and that's very intentional. Brooks points to Veil Containment as a key foreshadowing reservoir, which continues the examination of the cosmic thingamajig called the Veil, and quietly hints at a lot of stuff to come for seasons and expansions. He says this trail of breadcrumbs is a way we're experimenting with the new narrative delivery systems to tell different kinds of stories and shake things up a little bit from what people have been expecting. Stephen adds, we aren't done given answers and reveals in the seasonal content leading up to the final shape either. There are definitely more things that are going to be touched upon that have come out of Lightfall and there are more things that have come out of the Veil Containment activity. Right, so that was almost a year ago now. Thoughts? Discuss? Well, I'll give you my thoughts on it. I think there are three kind of main points. Firstly, Lightfall was the beginning of a story rather than the capstone or the end of a story like we're used to. They talked about it being the most connected seasons, so Lightfall, all of these seasons, and then Final, that they are more connected than any other uh, expansions and seasons in Destiny, and that they had an experimental delivery system being the Veil Containment Law. So, with Lightfall being the beginning of the story, obviously I think this was very was not received very well, and you kind of paid for an introduction. Like, you bought a book, no, you bought the introduction of a book that introduced the veil and the witness, but didn't give any answers. And so this idea of everything being interconnected really meant that you only got a third of the picture 
and then you had to purchase the seasons to get the middle of the book and then you have to purchase the final shape to get the end of the book and i know a lot of people including myself felt like it neglected the previous history and law of destiny uh, rather than explaining some of the stuff that went unanswered for many years they introduced new concepts and new ideas to sort of start a new leading into final shape okay so moving on to point number two the most interconnected i really don't think that from lightfall to now and including final shape i guess when that comes out that this has been the most connected seasons interconnected seasons that we've ever seen i think they have been incredibly typical for bungie and destiny and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing that's that's up to you if you like it but i don't think there's been anything special this season they have a little mini storyline that plays out like season of the wish you go and collect the ahamkara eggs and then it leads into the next season this is this is <laughs> it's been typical for like 10 years i i'm not too sure what they were referring to with that these seasons are more interconnected i mean defiance we never even really worked out what was happening with season of defiance that's the season that released with lightfall and they were abducting shadow legion were abducting uh people and put him on the pyramid ships it, it, it literally never explained why they were doing that it was just left hanging season of the deep i will admit i actually think it's probably one of the better seasons um giving us some backstory about the witness uh, and the origin story for the witness was enjoyable but overall it followed a very typical pattern where you get a little mini storyline that happens in a season and then it finishes on how it connects it to the next one there's a chain link as i say to the next season and i don't i just don't think that this has been more interconnected than any other series of seasons and expansions in destiny and the final point about the experimental delivery system with the Val containment law i mean maybe this is what they were talking about with the most interconnected if you're not aware if you didn't see but they they actually added the veil containment law in a in a mission and for the first season it was weekly missions that you had to go to the uh, near Muna to hear this great for content creators we could just easily farm views for law because they were still very cryptic and then in the two other seasons see this is the issue and two other seasons so one season it was like every week and then well, another season it was like just the first week and another season it was just the first week and maybe this is what they're talking about the interconnected but you got little snippets of the veil containment drip fed answers to what the veil is because remember lightfall didn't tell us what the veil is we had no idea what the veil is um and you're meant to read the begin the middle of the book being these seasons to work out what it is eventually we did know what the veil is but even i'm like getting confused about it or i've sort of forgotten what it's about because it's been spread over such a large period of time and a lot of people didn't see it or they didn't understand it half the people didn't even know where to go to get that information and i just think that that knowledge fades over time and they lost you know the time to explain the veil was when it was kind of introduced the irony in the veil containment law is kind of considering it as interconnected because you had all these pieces of law throughout the seasons that explained lightfall but from a consumer point of view it's incredibly fragmented like it's not interconnected it's fragmented you have to go and buy all the different seasons play them all through know where to go to put the story together i can see their point of view and what they were trying to say as a overall like a if you're looking back as a developer and you're looking at the story like yeah yes everything's like linking together but as a consumer point of view everything's divided up and put into different seasons and different expansions and destiny's weakness is 1000 percent getting new people into the franchise to understand the story and the fact that you divide a story a very pivotal part of the story over multiple seasons and expansions is in my opinion fragmented not interconnected so how does all of this relate to my sort of review and impressions of season of the wish well i just think that this season does not feel like the season before the end of the light vs dark saga it doesn't feel like the season before a huge expansion it's lost all of its urgency and all of its pace because everything's been spread over a year to have everything interconnected and i just don't think that that model is a good way to tell a story it also ended in very typical bungee fashion on a cliffhanger because you have to connect everything together so 
it ended with we we got a mini resolution to get in the ahamkara eggs that was like this side plot and then crow goes through the portal and then it's tune in next week and dragon ball z to work out what happens with crow the final shape and how guardians go after the witness Overall, the themes were good. Um, Kara, Marasov, Crow, they were all enjoyable themes within the Destiny universe, but this delivery system within this uh, seasonal model, within a live service game, I think is absolutely killing Destiny's story. And this is what I touched on in a previous video with the Destiny needs like an ODST expansion, is I just kind of want to go back to not live service and like an expansion where there's this beginning middle and end in an expansion and it's a standalone story set within the destiny universe and the way that it's connected to other stuff is yeah maybe you get an end an end credit scene they're like that's your chain link to the next expansion in your next season but to just tell a decent story from start to finish in a single expansion and that's what i'm hoping what's going to happen with these expansions that they're doing after final shape What's really interesting is Bungie knows this because they did they had another round table uh, in January of this year and they spoke about how the seasons are too predictable and they want to change it. So very interesting how <laughs> post Lightfall they spoke about, no, it's fine. Like all these seasons are going to explain this. They're really interconnected. It's going to fill in the gaps. And then now that we're at the end of the seasons, they're saying, yeah, okay, we kind of agree that it was too predictable and it wasn't as inventive i guess as we thought it was this is from GameSpot. speaking for the narrative team we hear our audience loud and clear that the structure of our story may have become predictable even if the story quality is still high senior, senior narrative designer nico stevens explained that the part of the problem was the predictability of recent seasons is due to dealing with live live game development a repeated structure gives bungie a baseline to follow allowing the studio to create content more efficiently over time and get it out to players as a consistent clip you get better at a pattern the more often you do it but we but that can have unintended side effects like making the content feel predictable but you have to change your perspective a little bit on how you're telling that story i think if you don't view that final season despite it being the final season of a year as an ending and more like a ramp into the dlc it structurally starts to make more sense as you're creating it because really you're treating the dlc witch queen and lightfall or final shape as the climatic moment that all of this has been leading to so i completely understand that destiny puts out a huge amount of content and they do it very quickly and overall destiny i do think is a good game and incredibly polished for what you get and all you need to do is go play other games and realize it's pretty good uh with all the complaints aside and i am glad that bungie acknowledges that like to do that work and do that pace they had to make a framework and that has kind of made the story incredibly stale because you know what's coming up and that's kind of what i've been saying that this is no more special than any other season this has been the same kind of delivery that we've had for a very long time it doesn't feel any more interconnected in fact the veil containment mall made it less connected and uh it's kind of killed all my hype for final shame and personally i really disagree with the statement that you as a consumer have to step back and look at the whole picture and be like oh i see now life falls the beginning the seasons are the middle the final shapes the end like i get that from a development point of view but it, that's just acknowledging that you you know that we need to buy every season expansion to get a full story and that you're happy that we need to buy the lightfall play every season log in every week get all the little snippets of lore all the drip fed stuff and then buy final shape to get the complete story of the end of the light versus dark saga and i don't agree with that at all okay there you go a bit of a negative nancy today look i don't even like doing these videos but i did have to say it, get it off my chest and uh we do have more content inbound and so we've got a long wait before final shape so i'll do my best as usual it's been a pleasure this smiling games if you'd like to support the channel and can't think of a comment you can leave the words season of the wish as usual it's been a pleasure this is smiling games peace